What's going on, man? Welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's Thanks your first time me. on the show. It's great having you My here. Very man. first time. Absolutely. Yeah. Now I, I know that you, you you live here in LA, but you've been spending time in New Zealand recently, right? Yeah, I was there for over a year. Really? See, I, we actually went on my honeymoon there. I was there for 10 days, fell in love with the place. What do you think about it? Oh, man, it's so beautiful. The mm -hmm. people are so lovely. Good eating. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, it's just uh, the natural wonders. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and, and my kids just love them. <laughs> They're just sheep and <laughs> horses yeah, off exactly. the roads. Yeah, exactly. Because the there, there's also no, no predators in, the, in New Zealand. So, like, sheep and all kinds of animals can just kind of run, run free. It was yeah, kind of it was dope. beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. I, I got to ask, did, did people recognize you there? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it seems like uh, most people knew me from uh, one of my first movies, American Pie. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really popular across the world, I think, because mm -hmm. people think it's a, uh, yep, there you go. It's a documentary about uh, <laughs> American teenagers. <laughs> uh, it is not. It's fiction. Right, right, right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was fun having people yell MILF at me in uh, a Kiwi accent. Yeah. <laughs> people yell MILF at you when you're, when you're out and about? Constantly, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, MILF! <laughs> you like my kids is here, bro. Uh, um, now listen, uh, you, th and this is hard to believe, you got a big birthday coming up. You're about to turn 50. How dare you? You How look amazing. You, you look, uh, yeah. look amazing. Isn't that crazy? You look amazing. <laughs> I said, we, we're, we're sharing like a decade birthday. I'm turning 40 in September. How, nice. how does it feel? How does it feel approaching that new kid? Well, it's, it's, uh, it, it's weird uh, because in my mind, if my parents are 40 yeah. yep. still, yep. so uh, it doesn't <laughs> seem right, but I have mixed feelings about it. Um, but uh, if you guys will come to my party. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe that'll take the yeah, sting exactly, off. Maybe that'll exactly. take the sting yeah, off. <laughs> absolutely. Now, Matt, you're also a father. How many kids do you have? I've got two that I know of. We got two. Okay. Uh, great. <laughs> thirteen boy and uh, eight girl. Okay, the, yeah. the boy's thirteen. 13. My oldest is, thir is thirteen as well. How's that going for you? It's good. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Uh, uh, my boy is uh, thirteen, so he's uh, my IT guy. Uh, right. I make him wear khakis <laughs> and a polo with his name tag around the house. Um, but he's thirteen, so there's a lot of. Um, you know, when I'm talking, it's like, yeah, yeah, idiot. Exactly. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're uh, to that point so where it's just, uh, yeah. I'm old enough to be dumb now. Absolutely. Is the point. Yeah, and, and and where you do anything that it it when you do anything, it embarrasses them. You know what I mean? You yes. can come, You can come. You can just walk in the room, and it's like, oh. It's know? like a. It's like it happens overnight. They're so embarrassed of you. Yeah, and exactly. uh, But previous to then, you know. They're, they're running through the streets naked, and then the next day, <laughs> everything's embarrassing. It's Absolutely. really weird. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, man, you're here to talk about your new book. We got to talk about it, Troublemaker, oh, man. It's your first book. Tell Thank us about you. it. Well, it's a, it's a story about a 12-year-old boy who's kind of a juvenile delinquent. Uh, he gets suspended from school, comes home uh, afraid to tell his parents, especially his dad, because he's not getting on with his dad. and. Uh, it, then we learned that it's actually April 29th, 1992, the day of the mm -hmm. first day of the L.A. riots, and uh, it's the day that the Rodney King verdict was read. Mm -hmm. His parents own a store in South Central. They're home. They're in a heated discussion. His dad decides, I'm going to go to the store to board it up in case there's unrest. He leaves. The boy um, becomes very worried about his father watching the, the, the news. Mm -hmm. So he goes to his father's closet where he knows that he keeps a gun. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he puts it in his backpack and decides to sneak out of the house to deliver the gun to his father for his protection. So it's the story of that night trying to get through L.A. on, the, on one of its worst nights. Absolutely. Yeah. Now I got to ask too, man, because I, I mean, the, the premise of that is amazing. But like, how did you land on this, on this subject matter? Because this is your first book. So how did yeah. you... Yeah. Well, it was... Uh, it was really the events of 2020. I was sitting there, you know, the, we all went inside because of the uh, coronavirus and there was no vaccine. We were, you know, um, sequestered in our kitchen and, um, and George Floyd was murdered. We were mm -hmm. watching the, uh, the marches. Then there was a lot of anti-Asian violence. And I think I was trying to figure out how to mm -hmm. process this for my kids in particular. 
And um, I couldn't stop thinking about April 29th, 1992, because I was thinking about the similarities between mm -hmm. the Rodney King uh, situation and, and George Floyd. And I was thinking, boy, those officers didn't know that they were being videotaped. Right. And these guys did, mm -hmm. and yet it didn't stop them. And, and so my mind was going crazy, and that's when the idea of the book came, and, and I thought maybe we could tell a story about that night. This is really a love story about a boy and his father, mm -hmm. but, I, but it was the setting that appealed to me. Absolutely. And um, it's, I guess it's a valentine to my children. Um, wow. Yeah. Absolutely. We gotta take a short break. More with John after this.